There's quite a few grey nurse sharks down there. Now, scientists and experts believe that the grey nurse shark will be extinct within seven years. And that's, that's a, a really big worry. Back in the early 60s, the grey nurse had a pretty bad trot. And that was from shark hunters, line fishermen, and the shark meshing program. And the numbers decreased drastically. And people then thought that they were a, a man-eater, along with the tiger and the great white. But now we know them as a placid shark. Definitely not a man-eater. Now I've been diving for 53 years and I know the grey nurse well because I was back there in the early 60s when it all happened. I was part of it and I saw the demise of the grey nurse and I've searched and searched in all those years since for this vanishing grey nurse. Along the east coast of Australia, the grey nurse sharks congregate in selected gutters. Scientists say they may number no more than 300 and are plummeting toward extinction. Overseas, they're endangered too and are called ragged tooth sharks in South Africa and sand tigers in America. See that hook in its jaws? That's the shark's greatest threat today. It inhibits its feeding, and if lodged in the stomach, it's likely to die. Autopsies on 10 dead grey nurse revealed six had hooks in their stomach. At a grey nurse haunt off the New South Wales coast, I joined Dr Nick Otway of New South Wales Fisheries. He's capturing and tagging the grey nurse for scientific research. Um, keep pulling the shark through, pull it through to the right through the end. Ooh. Look at those jaws. Okay, um, just give the drill a bit now. That's it, you've got, you've got the tissue sample now. Beauty, well done, that's good. 